Hello, I'm Steve Grafton, President of the Alumni Association of the University of Michigan, and I'm happy to be bringing you the latest edition of our alumni video update from newly renovated Cousins Hall here on the Ann Arbor campus. You know, it's fall here, and a lot of exciting things are going on. There's much to talk about. Like how this year, the excitement around Michigan football seems unprecedented. The Diag hosts a party for the planet. Cousins Hall reopens its doors. The Center for Chinese Studies hosts a high-flying cultural celebration. And as always, a lot is happening at the Alumni Association. You know, I think you'd wonder about me if I sent you one of these updates at this time of year and didn't mention something about Michigan football, especially given the great start of our new head coach, Brady Hoke. On September the 10th, about 1,500 people were at the Alumni Center when ESPN's game day broadcast from just outside our doors. Later that day, in the first ever Michigan Stadium night game, Michigan extended its dominance over Notre Dame in an exciting fashion. And although we always cheer for the maize and blue, we're also proud to go green. Now, relax, I'm not talking about athletics here. I'm referring to Earth Fest, a campus event designed to engage, entertain, and educate University of Michigan students and staff on all aspects of sustainability. Held on the Diag on September the 27th, this year's Earth Fest was a great example of how the university has become a true role model for leadership in supporting sustainable growth and practices. At that event, U of M President Mary Sue Coleman announced several far-reaching initiatives designed to keep the university at the cutting edge of sustainability. And on a related note, the renovations and major updates to Cousins Hall were designed with energy efficiency in mind. Originally built in 1925 and renovated in the 50s, the hall's most recent upgrades include a new fire suppression system, temperature regulation for student rooms, new bathrooms, lounges, and other improvements. The official reopening ceremonies were held on October the 11th, and I have to tell you that after seeing the place, I had a flashback to my own residence hall days with a moment of jealous anguish. I have to tell you, these youngsters are lucky. But there's nothing like a kite festival to bring out the youngster in all of us. On September the 25th in Nichols Arboretum, the Alumni Association helped support the new Millennium Kite Festival in conjunction with the 50th anniversary of the Center for Chinese Studies. Kite fly-offs, kite building workshops, and general aerodynamic action mark this unique opportunity to celebrate culture on campus. It was an amazing event, and the Alumni Association was proud to be part of it. Now, fall is always a busy time for us here at the Alumni Association. Our student programming kicks back into gear, which is obvious from the smell of thousands of bagels being served during each Welcome Wednesday. And also with autumn comes reunions. We always look forward to all of our reunion events, from recent grads through the 50th anniversary class. You should check out the reunion's recently revitalized website to see the date of your next reunion, and then mark your calendar and plan your return to campus. And finally, a new semester of lifelong learning is underway. Last year was a great success, and we already have an amazing lineup for this year, starting with a fall theme of education in America. Check out our online catalog of learning opportunities from your university, and keep an eye out for opportunities to join in special lectures that we'll be bringing to you via live stream. And now, on behalf of the Alumni Association and the University of Michigan, I'd like to thank you for being a part of the alumni family. Yours for Michigan, I'm Steve Grafton.